I'm the lead therapist for a, a, a small team who work with children who've got um, additional needs, uh, physical needs, learning needs, health needs. Um, many of these are in special schools where there's specialist provision, specialist staff, but some of them are also attending mainstream schools and we go out to support the staff in those schools, giving them advice about how to develop the child's communication. We see children in the special school from age two up to age 19, uh, primary schools and secondary schools. Uh, we're looking towards functional communication, so some of those children will develop speech, some of them will not develop speech, or they will have speech that's difficult to understand. So we're looking at all types of communication, such as uh, signing, the use of symbols, and for, su for some of the children who are able to use them, more sophisticated aids to communication, which is a specialist area in itself. Nathan is my son. He is eight years old. He has autism and severe learning difficulties. Um, he cannot speak properly. He can just form the beginning of some words and colours. Um, Nathan sees a speech and language therapist. He's been seeing a sorted therapist for four years now. In the last 12 months, Nathan has attended um, a quite intensive special school and is quite intensive therapy at this one. And he has been brought on considerably. He's now saying more words, or the beginning of more words than was ever thought possible. Um, we were told that there was no reason he couldn't talk, but didn't think he'd have a, a large vocabulary. Well. He's getting there. The speech and language team at school liaise with Nathan's teacher and they send us a plan home which is devised by the speech and language and the teachers and it will tell us what they have done with Nathan, what they now wish to do with Nathan, what signs they would like us to do with Nathan at home and what sounds to get him to practice because without that we wouldn't know how to bring Nathan along. It's, it's important uh, to give advice and support from an early age and to, to have continuity so that, uh, say, there's a young child has been seeing the paediatrician and the physiotherapist and the speech and language therapist at the Child Development Centre or in a, a special children's centre, then they're moving into a special school. We, we want continuity there so that there isn't uh, a gap in, in service. And the sooner that we can get good strategies implemented, the better the, the, the prognosis is for the child's development. We'd hope that they would be able to, to function and fulfil their potential as they get older and move on from secondary special school services into uh, the adult learning disability service, if that's appropriate, or into mainstream services if they still have needs at the end of their school career. I just think it's very important. You can't get these things done without acting as a team. It's no good just using one without getting the information back to every, you know, you need the information back from everybody to get the full picture of how your child is progressing. It's no good just going to one and then finding the other one isn't getting the same level of expertise that they need and the information that they need to bring your child along. You need to interact with everybody and get the whole picture. The speech and language service is in a fortunate position of crossing boundaries. Um, we are employed largely by the health service but many of us uh, work in education establishments and we also have links with other services like um, physiotherapy, social services, occupational therapy. So we, uh, we are often in a very fortunate position of being able to share information and give perhaps a more balanced perspective. Nathan needs a speech and language therapist. He's had such intensive therapy in the last 12 months. I don't think he would be able to talk without this intensive therapy. We certainly wouldn't have had a clue how to teach Nathan how to speak 
without liaising with the speech and language therapy and the school. Actually, they have been invaluable in ours and Nathan's life.